Hello there. We are four early career ocean professionals working together in the Beaverbug project. We are investigating the Pacific oyster as an invasive species to the German Wadden Sea. The Pacific oyster is an ecosystem engineer that builds reef structures and has a strong influence on its surroundings. Our aim is to investigate the effects of this new and extremely rough surface for the entire Wadden Sea. We build an interactive website for you to explore an oyster reef for yourself. Let's have a look together. Hi, I'm Tom. I'm a research associate in coastal engineering and ready to take off. As the drone pilot in our research team, I'm responsible for the aerial photogrammetry of the oyster reefs and the generation of digital elevation models. Together with Kai, I investigate the annual growth and the morphological change of the oyster reefs based on photogrammetry and data from terrestrial laser scanning conducted in the field. Besides the field work and evaluation of the propagation of oyster reefs, Jan and I will conduct hydraulic experiments on the roughness effects of oyster reefs on currents and waves by using acoustic and optical measuring instruments such as particle image velocimetry in a closed circuit flue. Leon can tell you more about the models used in our hydraulic labs. Hi, I'm Kai. I'm a research associate at the Senckenberg Research Institute in Wilhelmshaven. I'm looking at the oyster reef from the perspective of a geoscientist. One part of my job is to determine changes in population dynamics of the Pacific oyster and the blue mussel in the oyster reefs. Therefore, we take biological samples in a seasonal interval and capture different ecological parameters. Some of these data are further used by Leon and Jan for their model development. We combine our data with Tom's 2D drone images to determine the spatial distribution of different reef structures and calculate biomass and abundance for the whole reef. This enables us to identify seasonal growth patterns. In addition to biological surveys, we use terrestrial laser scanning to investigate the oyster reef as a dynamic growing biosedimentary structure. With the high occurrence of the laser scanner, we can document small scale, three dimensional, medium term changes in different structures in the oyster reef. Hey, I am Leon and I am working as a research assistant at the Institute of Structural Design at the TU Braunschweig. As a trained architect, I am responsible for the fabrication of digitally generated lab models. It is important that these models have the same properties as the previously measured digital terrain models. We need to take into account that we also have to fabricate them. So parametric models are created with different input parameters such as height and width, density and orientation. Now the values are adjusted so that in the end they have the same properties as the digital terrain model. The next step is to choose a fitting rapid prototyping method. We can use as an example CNC mills or 3D printers. In the end, we have a physical model which can be used by Tom and Jan for lab experiments. Hi, I'm Jan and I'm looking at the oyster reef from the perspective of a coastal engineer. As it is quite challenging to measure waves and currents in the open ocean, they can be replicated in specialized laboratories like this one. One part of my job are hydrodynamic experiments. In the video, you can see a wave flume experiment. We used a simplified model to investigate how waves are reduced when passing by. We use several measurement instruments to capture important parameters as wave heights, flow velocities and turbulence development. In the follow-up experiments, Tom and I will exchange the simplified model by the detailed oyster reef model that Leon explained. In this way, we can identify the impact of oyster reefs on the surrounding hydrodynamics in a controlled environment. The Wadden Sea is a vulnerable place that can be impacted by invasive species like the Pacific oyster. With our work, we wanted to give you some insights into this little-known but impactful process happening right in front of our eyes. 
and also we wanted to show you some of the diverse and fun tasks of marine research. But come and see for yourself on our website.